Hi folks, um, in, the, uh, in the process of making uh, Wires for Empathy, a short animated film made in Blender, uh, we've uh, often had recourse to make our own add-ons and uh, little scripts that we're adding to Blender to make making the project easier. And uh, we're going to release all of these, of course, under a GPL. And I think it might be nice to start a sort of a series of videos introducing some of these add-ons uh, to the public and releasing them. And that way um, it's uh, both easy to get them and easy to understand what it is that they do. Um, the first one I'm going to show is actually a really small one. Um, the small ones tend to be easiest to explain and share. And this one is a little floating slider add-on. And so I'm starting by stating the problem. So let's open up uh, a random uh, character raid. Um, so let's have a look. And yeah, let's just open this one that was open before. Um, so here we have um, a bunch of little crowd characters. Uh, these are uh, little guys who are seen from a really long distance, almost kind of like this small um, in the distance and in, in some shots. And um, they have, um, they have a, a little rig UI. And let me click on the rig and you can see it right here. So um, if I make this bigger, um, you can see that they have very simple rigs. And um, uh, so some of the things that you can, they, they can do that's not obvious is that you can change the pivot of the foot. So um, uh, let's, uh, normally it's pivoting like this from the heel, but I can also pivot from the midfoot or pivot from the toe, you know, lifting up the feet and that works for both feet. And of course you can keyframe these and use them in animating walk cycles. Um, and then there's a bunch of other things that can be um, accessed via sliders, like um, the hands can clasp um, or spread a bit, you know, so um, just to give it a little bit of life while they're moving. Um, and so, and there's a few other things. Now, this is a really simple rig UI, and almost everything you see here in the rig UI is really just uh, properties on bones. So, for instance, the um, heel and toe sliders are actually these properties here. Um, and the clasp and spread ones are these properties on this bone here. So they're all properties and bones. And so um, what's kind of, um, there's, there's, there's two things that are kind of um, annoying about this. Uh, one is that if you're a rigger and you want to give access to these properties um, and kind of expose them, you kind of have to write like a small script to make a panel like that. Um, the other one is, as an animator, is that um, it kind of takes you out of the 3D view uh, where you're actually setting your keyframes and posing your character. You know, it would be kind of nice if you could do it right here on the view. Um, and so we have um, a very simple slider. Um, so I'm uh, going to user preferences and go to add-ons and uh, install some file. And we'll go to our add-ons directory. I'm going to make this available to download, of course. And um, it's called floating sliders. So we'll install it. And uh, it should show up here in the search. I just had it before. That's why it didn't. So here's the floating sliders enabled. Uh, sorry. Right there. And that's basically it. You can save the user settings. And then it will be there um, when you load Blender. Uh, this is a highly um, hackish, I want to say, um, thing. Um, I'm kind of subverting what Blender normally does and writing my own UI on top. And so if you click on a bone, for instance, the foot, that has some properties on it, now you get a little slider right in the 3D view um, that you can manipulate. Um, so, so long as you've put in your properties in obvious places, you know, like if I select the hands, I get the controls for the hand. Um, likewise for the foot, um, then things kind of make sense. I can also insert keyframes just by right clicking and inserting a keyframe. And once I've inserted, I can replace or delete. And um, 
The cool thing is that I get like the colored display to indicate that this is a keyframe property. If I go off that frame, um, it changes color to green, just like the buttons. And I can right click and delete that keyframe and it's gone. Um, so that's basically um, kind of a simple um, keyframing um, uh, menu. And uh, that's basically all it does. Uh, so uh, for instance, this character has the heel and toe, uh, the clasp and spread controls. Uh, this character also has a bunch of um, uh, manipulations to change the appearance of the ca character, like the uh, colors of their clothes um, and of their skin. And uh, you see here, the hair color can also be tweaked. Um, and uh, finally, the body type can be changed um, using like a little combination of drivers. Um, so you can get like multiple characters out of the same rig. Um, and this is basically for crowd shots. So these guys are gonna be like tiny, but they'll have a little bit of variation. And so uh, we're, uh, uh, we're gonna make this uh, available, of course. And if you check the link uh, below the video, you'll find a download link for the, for the add-on. Um, keep in mind that it is kind of this is the 0.0, .0 version. Um, it should work whether you have left or right mouse selection. Um, however, if you've changed what the right mouse or what the non-active mouse does, what the non-select mouse does, um, you might find that it goes back to placing the 3D cursor um, in pose mode if you have this add-on. Um, uh, that could be fixed, I, I, but you know, maybe in a future version of the add-on, we can like make it a bit smarter and figure out what you did, and then keep that working. Um, yeah, and so have fun with it. Um, know that it is uh, experimental, but um, if anything goes wrong, you can simply disable it, uh, restart Blender, and things should be uh, back to normal again. It shouldn't affect your files in any way. So that's basically it. Uh, so uh, hope you enjoy. Bye.